Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel where I bring you mermaid related content to help you live life so mermaid. And today we're going to be building a mermaid monofin storage system. So I had a great system in place for the longest time. It was fine. I had a big bin and I taped a plate holder into it and I just stacked them in there like a little filing system and it was great. Then I got I think four new monofins and it all kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> so the unit we got is called the Allgot and I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize in advance. It was about $19 and we only got the frame. So it comes with like you have to buy these pieces individually but you can get it with a tabletop, you can get it with drawers, you can get it with, with wheels apparently, you can get a second thing to build a bigger one. Anyways. I just got the frame because that's all that I was gonna need. I counted like, I've got these monofins, this is how I'm gonna stack them, this is gonna be fine. Super easy to put together. Let's jump to the footage. Ooh. All right, let's bird's eye view this, shall we? So it was really easy to put together. I honestly didn't have a need for a lot of the extra little brackets and stuff because I'm not making this a big tall thing. Obviously, if you're, a, you know, a tail maker like me and you have a huge store of monofins and you need a bigger one, you can make it bigger if you need to. Um, I am going to keep it small because I only have the monofins that I have and I can tuck it just easily under my desk since I am at a premium when it comes to space. Like, <laughs> there's no floor space anywhere in this apartment. So now you can see I have this lovely setup where everything just stacks really nice and neat and together. I have easy access. I ordered things by sort of level of use and importance. Stuff that I use more often for swimming and or tail making goes in at the top. And then we just sort of progress down to things that I don't really use that much anymore but don't really want to put into storage because there's still the possibility of needing them. And, and there you have it. All right, so again, this unit is called Algot. I think I'm saying it wrong, but it's A-L-G-O-T and it's from Ikea and it is just the frame by itself. You can get casters for it. Like I said, if you feel the need to wheel it around, I might do that because it is quite heavy with all of the monofins I actually have on here because I have something like, like 14 or so monofins with one more in the mail on the way. So those add to the collection. The unit itself is about 27 inches tall and about 20 23 and a half, 24 inches uh, deep. So it fits just so nicely in there. I can't even tell you. And all of the monofins now look so good. I can see everybody. I know who's there. And I just feel so much better about it. So now for all of those of you who've been asking me, that's the answer, okay? That is the storage solution. I have yet to find a good storage solution as a long-term thing for my mermaid tails. They just hang in the hallway that's going to be another video. And if you found this video at all useful, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. And if you don't want to say goodbye just yet, be sure to swim on over to patreonpod.com, our extended pod community. For less than the price of a cup of coffee a month, you gain access to our monthly mermaid tail coloring challenge, our behind the scenes patron only feed, our Patreon pod private discord community chat, our private monthly live stream and more so if any of that sounds interesting to you be sure to swim on over again that was patreonpod.com and we would love to have you join us all right and that's it for today's video i want to thank you all so much for watching and i would love to hear what your storage solutions are because as mermaids we tend to accumulate a lot of stuff and i would love to hear any tips or tricks that you have found useful on your adventures let's get the conversation going in the comment section down below and otherwise yes thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye.